Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lydia. In this channel, I talk about everything beauty care related from nutrition to skincare. Today, we're gonna to talk all about functional foods and nutraceuticals. I know that a lot of you might have never heard of these, or some of you might even have questions about what exactly they are and how and where we can find them. Let's start by explaining the difference between functional foods and nutraceuticals. So to start with, functional foods can be conventional foods that we already consume in our diet, which along with nutrition also provide some additional health benefits. They are characterized by having additional health benefits beyond basic nutritional functions, for example, by containing a bioactive compound. A very good example of this can be polyphenols in tea. On the other hand, nutraceuticals contain bioactive compounds that have been extracted from the foods and are consumed in the form of pills or tablets, etc. So in a little more detail, nutraceuticals are products that have been isolated or purified from foods and in general sold in a medical form, not usually associated with regular food. A nutraceutical is generally thought to have a physiological benefit or provide protection against chronic diseases. So now let's try understanding a little more information about functional foods and what they can do for us. Regular food like fruits and vegetables are often considered functional foods along of course with fortified foods such as fortified juices, fortified eggs, and fortified cereal. So the term functional is often used to describe foods that have been enriched with particular nutrients or substances which have the potential to positively influence health over and above their basic nutritional value. Fortified foods can usually be very similar to foods that we consume in our diet regularly, such as bread and yogurt. And they do include a very big range of products. So some functional foods can be around a particular functional ingredient, for example, foods containing probiotics or prebiotics. Other functional foods or drinks can be ones that have been fortified with an ingredient that would not usually be present at any great extent. A very good example is vitamin D in milk. So let me give you a couple of examples of functional foods. So a couple of examples of conventional functional foods are fruits like berries, kiwi, bananas, then vegetables like broccoli, kale, and spinach, nuts like almonds, Brazil nuts and cashews, seeds like chia seeds or flax seeds, legumes like black beans, chickpeas and lentils, whole grains like oats, seafood like salmon, sardines, various fermented foods, of course, herbs and spices like turmeric, cinnamon, and ginger, and beverages like coffee and green tea. Now let me give you some examples of some modified functional foods. So it can be fortified juices, fortified milk, fortified dairy products like fortified yogurt or milk, fortified milk alternatives such as almond milk or coconut milk, fortified grains such as bread and pasta, fortified cereal and granola, and of course, fortified eggs. So now let's talk a little bit more about nutraceuticals. There is of course a big difference between pharmaceuticals and nutraceuticals. Both can cure and prevent diseases. However, only pharmaceuticals have governmental sanction. They usually have patent protection due to extensive testing. However, nutraceuticals do not need these testing documents. So nutraceuticals that a lot of the bioactive compounds are found in foods are responsible for a range of health benefits. Due to the range of their health benefits, they can be taken regularly to cure or reduce risk factors for various diseases. So 
some examples of the most popular nutraceutical products today are ginseng, ginkgo biloba, and echinacea. Echinacea, echinacea, and echinacea. So overall nutraceuticals can be used to improve health, to prevent chronic diseases, to even increase life expectancy, as well as delay the aging process. So both functional foods and nutraceuticals may provide various health and beauty benefits, but should not be in any way seen as a substitute or an alternative to a healthy and balanced diet, and in general, a healthy lifestyle. So I hope you enjoyed this video learning all about functional foods and nutraceuticals. Hit the like button if you did and subscribe for more videos all about beauty care through skin products and through nutrition. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to also check out my two latest videos about antioxidant foods and anti-inflammatory foods. Let me know what other beauty care topics you would like me to talk about in the next videos in the comments below. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.